This is Otsukimi. This is back test number three. Uh, but doing a little bit different today, we're going to go over the Arun Trend script, also um, known by its former tag, the ATMR script, and which stands for Arun Trend Mean Reversion. So I'll go into a little bit of detail what that is, what it does, and how it's different than the Apex script that we've been backtesting for two past two videos. So <clears throat> I'll get into that. And then after that, we will do the live testing very similar to the Apex script. Um, I, I've got the uh, the random, you know, random dates right here. I got the documentation for this. So everything's good to go. This is the, the current backtesting that we have going on. So what I'm going to do is going to go straight down the line. And I also have tabs on the bottom for the Bitcoin test, and then I'm going to do the Ethereum test and on and on and so forth. So this is going to be a pretty comprehensive test. I've got 20 videos lined up. Yes, 20. So 20 hours of back testing is probably right around where I'm going to go. And if you <clears throat> are not convinced after 20 hours of back testing, I, I can't help you. Okay, so it is designed to give overwhelming proof of my transparency um, and the efficacy of my scripts that I use for myself. It is not, I'm not telling you to buy these. I am not trying to sell them to you per se. Um, and I'm not, I'm absolutely not trying to tell you to do them for financial advice. So keep that in mind. Um, but what I am doing is trying to just test these live. These are my scripts that I've used for myself for years. You guys have came to me, my followers have came to me and over time have asked me, what about these? What do these do? Um, wow, you, um, you're you using these. So over time, the interest has grown to the point where people are willing to um, kind of basically um, hand me a fistful of money and go with that. So um, I'm willing to reciprocate that and offer these um, in exchange for value that I feel like is worth it. So um, I did have some pricing out there already for my Apex script and the documentation. I had to revoke that temporarily because I made a critical mistake. Um, I've got a series of Apex scripts all together called the Apex Suite. And some people were confused versus the other indicators. Um, and so I think I'm going to kind of approach that differently um, because I think yeah, I, I want to present the scripts a bit differently, basically. Some because some of you guys don't want the Apex script, some of you guys want the trend script, which is why I'm also moving that back test to today. Um, so we can get more comprehensive tests going on. These are only Bitcoin tests. Um, and so I will cover Ethereum and other coins as we as we go. Um, in addition to that, this is going to be a quote unquote live. So what I'm doing, this is basically unedited. The only times I will edit this is if Perhaps I sneeze um, without muting my my. I will try to mute my mic, but if I have a long pause while muted, I will edit that out. Or <clears throat> if I accidentally click on some sensitive information, which I've been more careful about, the other time was just a simple mistake. So um, it happens, and that's one reason why I don't live stream because um, you know I've got nothing to hide per se. I just um, you never know. There's always a one weird person like trying to you know, that will exploit you for something. So you need to be careful, especially in the crypto world. But this is also why I do the test, because I understand the skepticism and I get that. I, I do know and see other groups that are doing things like $250 a month for paid services and people are happy to do them without understanding some of the risks associated with that. So I'm going over and beyond to... Um, do this. I haven't faced really much criticism either, and so that's good overall. But um, my goal is just to, um, yeah, just to do this. And um, again, people have asked me to do it, so I'm willing to do so. So that's kind of the introduction to this. Um, and I'm going to pause too, just to kind of help timestamp this for the YouTube. So I take a water break and uh, get back. All right. So going here. So this is my. Um, Go to the charts. This is my Arun Trend script. So I'm going to call it Arun Trend. That's kind of how I do it. But it's it's called the Arun Trend Mean Reversion. And so what that does, it it takes um, <clears throat> much more of a trend 
and momentum based approach. So Apex is the all in one approach. Apex stands for Arun price action exponential, but the exponential really means um, momentum and trend. And Apex just sounded like a better name than than APIM, whatever, right? So so it incorporates Arun price action and trend momentum based things, where the Arun trend indicator focuses much more on the the Arun and trend obviously given the name aspect of it so it it basically removes the price action point it doesn't necessarily care about price action so if you are not a price action trader this script is not for you this if you're a price action trader apex is probably what you're looking for um, this will be the Arun trend indicator is much more in line with people that prefer trends um, or um, kind of just, you know, doing a little more, I don't want to say training wheel approach, but more casual trading, I guess you could say. And it is one that I use. Um, again, I use all of these scripts. And so <clears throat> we'll get into that, right? But another, and the reason I call it the Arun trend mean reversion is because it relies on trends. It relies on Arun and trend. Um, was it, uh, what's the word? Confluence? excuse me, I couldn't think of the word. And then it also uses mean reversion to help calculate take profits and everything like that. So it also assumes that mean reversion will happen. And mean reversion typically, generally is a thing. And so there are some exceptions and, and um, depending on assets, mainly in indexes, things like that. So, but the Aaron trend assumes that these will be the case. And so that's how I dissect it here. So um, what you need to know here for the price action, this current area is a really good example. Um, and I'm going to keep, every now and then I'm going to flicker over here to the, the prices because we just had a market close. Excuse me. All right, sorry. Um, you know, if I might, I'd try to mute if I had to call for something like that. So, um, and I just, I just ate my dinner. So we, so one thing I want you to note is, is here's how to read this script. So the gray areas are the big areas that you want to be concentrating on as a beginner. So your blue areas are areas where things are bull, where the trend is bullish. Gray areas or blue areas are trend trends that are bullish according to the Aaron, the and the um, momentum and trends and all that. And then the gray area is where things are bearish. Now. The, this black line here is where the reversion comes into play, right? So if you have a trend going above the reversion line, that is a sign that things are very trendy, as you can see right here. Um, so as you can see from the from the beginning of this trend, which you can see if we do the candle closes right here, all the way to current price action, that is a 27% increase, right? So when you get... When you get price above where, where the bar come, where the the trend, Aaron trend goes above the line, that is when thing when, that is when trend and momentum have confluence together with the Aaron, and so that is why you get the expansion, and so that's what I'm looking for. Um, and that's exactly, and that's also identified by this green cross. The red is the is is the sell, green is the buy, of course, um, and those crosses will change. This is this is not a public script just yet, but when it is when it does become public, I'm going to make those less prominent. I, I'm just letting them be prominent now um, for back testing for you to see it easier. And so when it comes time to publishing it, I'm going to make them smaller, um, or I may even make the colors of the candles different. Let me know what you suggest um, because I'll probably publish this um, in maybe 48 hours. So and so we'll go with that. So that's where that lines up. In addition to that, um, so when you have, so when you have the bar here, so this is a bullish. The bullish trend is here, but the mean reversion has not has not. Um, it, it's still under the mean reversion line, right? So that is also telling you that hey, it is trending bullish according to the mom, according to Arun, but it doesn't have the momentum. Okay, so you the idea for this script is. You don't want to long this under the line. You want to long this over the line when the bar gets over the line. So even though this is bullish according to the trend and the price is above the line, you don't want to long it because the 
the momentum is not above the line. So you want you want the you you don't need to care about the actual candle area, right? You want to care about the the band itself. When the band is above the line, that is generally when you want too long, okay? And so you're going to have some slight uh, gray, I want to say gray, I don't want to say gray areas, but you have something like this where like it just barely crosses the line. And so that does count, <clears throat> even though this particular trade wasn't necessarily effective, that does count. And that's why we're going to get into the back testing. We're going to see how effective this actually is. Um, and again, this is my first live back test. And so we are going to go over that. Sorry, I'm just checking some messages. So, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, my, uh, I had some chicken for dinner and it's kind of stuck in my throat. So, so and yeah, and, and keep in mind, since this is live, I'm going to have some inconsistencies to this video. I, I will take breaks. I will stutter. I do have a stutter. I, you know, I went to school to help speak better and sometimes I, that doesn't work. So, um, so just keep that in mind, right? Um, I'm a very awkward talk person to talk to in real life. So, um, so with that keep that in mind. So that being said, these are, this is what it looks like. Um, in addition to that, the thinness of the band indicates that the momentum is stronger. Okay. And so <clears throat> when it's wide, that means you're starting to get some consolidation and some concern overall. Now the Arun transcript doesn't necessarily um, have the thickness of the band inserted into the algorithm. So that's more of a visual cue than a algorithmic one so the the results of the back test will the wideness of the band will not have any results plus or minus towards the back test that'll be for you to decide okay that's something that um it's a long long story but trading view and pine script um is a little bit <clears throat> um bias against arun not necessarily on purpose but arun uses a lot of um they don't, it uses percentages, right? So when you look at this, um, this is the Aaron indicator, it uses percentages. Now percentages, according to PineScript, which is based off of JavaScript um, and other, you know, programming languages, it's not a float value. So PineScript likes, really likes float values and Aaron is not a float value and it's hard to translate that out of it into a, or it's hard to translate it into a float value. So long story short, I'm still working on that. I'm hoping that's a later update, but even if I do, um, that's going to take new back testing. So I, I've used this indicator without the the thickness of the band, unless I use it visually. And one way to do that is that when you get something like this, <clears throat> like a thinness of the band, typically um, this is a this is an increase of momentum, and then that ends up being like a short or long squeeze in this case. Sorry. So that's kind of the same thing. So when you get a thinness you usually get a squeeze. So you get a larger drop down, right? So that's, you know, here's another example. You end up getting a squeeze to the downside, squeeze to the upside, things like that. So, and, and I use the word squeeze lightly. I don't actually literally mean like an actual short squeeze, long squeeze. It just tends to have more of a increase of liquidity for the next candle or two. So, and again, um, I don't know enough necessarily to know when, that direction is going to occur. Although usually when you have a bullish line like this, you, it usually ends up being a fade and then, <clears throat> you know, vice versa for the upside. Right. So, um, so just keep that in mind. Although that, again, that is not in the algorithmic part of this back test. So it will not be in the Excel sheet. So in addition to that, you're going to have these little gray markers or these little, uh, I guess they're black markers. So, these are called take profit targets. And so TPT is what they'll be called on the script. And so what that means is that is um, a, it's not a recommendation, but it's more of a training wheels approach, casual approach to trading. So when those occur, it is where Arun is telling you that, hey, we might get some, th this might be an area to take profits. And so I'm not suggesting that you should take all of your profits or any of them at all. That is just when, based off of back testing, that is when Aaron tends to be um, a little more 
uh, cautious about the trend and momentum. Like there might be a momentum shift or reduction. And so, for example, here you can see all these here like this, even though there was a higher high on this, it did kind of slow down for a second and then it kind of topped out here. Um, you have another one here, another one here, which was the bottom. You have three of them here, so that one was a little harder. And this is a little difficult, right? So they're not always perfect, okay? And so they're not designed necessarily to take profits. Um, but it is an approach that you can take, and I added them in there if you want to play on the safe side. So the A-Rune trend is going to generally be more casual than the Apex indicator. So <clears throat> if you want... Um, higher risk so to say i don't want to say higher leverage or higher risk necessarily but if you um if you want more of a true to life trading experience apex indicator will be better for you and then aaron trend is going to be more casual so with this example um this wasn't even a long necessarily um and maybe i can find maybe i can find an example overall um and so Maybe I can find one. So here's one right here, actually. So you could long here. You could have take profits here or here or here or here or here. I mean, you could take them all the way up, right? And the idea is these are not suggestions. These are not even recommend recommendations. These are depending on your comfortability. Okay, so um, they are not something that you have to take. Um, it is something that you can take. So um, according, um, yeah, it's just according to your style, right? So so we'll we'll play that as we go and so that's basically the script in general so what um i'm going to pause this for a second take another water break explain the method of what we're going to do which you should already know if we've if you've watched a previous back test video and we'll get started all right so for this video we're going to do the same 40 trade style back tests and so what we're going to do and and here's my spreadsheet with this um, I'm going to start here at the ATMR. So we're going to do 10 dates at random. We're going to pick these. I have not picked these, and I'll keep going through these just to show you that I will have them at random. Um, and so they're going to be anywhere between 2019. You know what? Last time I did 2019, I think I will go farther, and I think I'll do maybe like 2016. Let's just do that since Bitcoin can cover that. So... I'm going to pause the video and try to, um, let me see if I can go back, or maybe I can just do here. Maybe I won't pause, pause the video. So um, so what we can do here is we're going to pick 10 random dates. All right, so 10 random dates that fall between January. And so this is, this is all live. So January 1st. Um, 2016 and then uh let's see let's go to halloween because it's um there we go october 31st and we will pick all seven days because i'm not concerned about that either and then do the month first um, all right so we'll do that all right, so we are going to get dates. All right, so those are our dates that we're going to work with. And again, I'm just going to keep doing these just to prove that they are random. And so that's what I got going on. I'll hit that again to start it. Um, and so what that's going to look like is, let's say I have November 4th, uh, 2016. I'll just say um, 2000. Well, let's just say. Let's just say here. So let's say I get my you know, the, the date is like August 1st, right? So I'm going to put a vertical line right around August 1st, August 2nd, whatever. I'm going to do the trade to the left side, trade to the right side, okay? So this particular case, this would get stopped out. There's no long setup. And then this would be your short setup. Um, and then it would start at the candle close, and then we'd work our way down. So that's how that would work. And then I'm going to also incorporate... Um, uh, different strategies as far as this. So I think I'm going to do more of a percentage approach for this one. Again, this is going to be more casual. So I don't necessarily will do my personal trading, although I will incorporate that. So I think I'm going to have a little more wiggle room as far as where I want to take profits because the script is designed to let you take profits um, 
optimally. So we'll work with that. And then again, going through the dates with this, and then I'm going to plug this in into the script and through the data sheet. This data sheet, by the way, is available on my Discord. I'm going to pin it actually probably on Monday or some, sometime whenever I get a chance in the next two to three days or one to three days, whatever. So we'll incorporate that as well. Everything's transparent. And um, anyway, I'm going to pause one more time just for the time script, and then we'll get started with the back test. All right, so we're going to get started, and we're going to just re-add uh, this. So the first one is going to be April 16th, 2019. So we're going to go here and get rid of this. April 16th, 2019. All right, so first one up. April 16th, 2019. So here we go. So first things first. Um, sorry if I got background noise. Again, that's part of the cons of live. And I get frustrated too. I, I do. Um, I, I have a issue with my ears where I can hear too well. It's really annoying. So, um, all right. So here is your first one on the left side. I'm going to do a long signal here. And... Oh, and I also forgot about the stop losses. So what you can do is, generally speaking, so this would be um, your entry at the low. And so typically your stop loss is going to be right at the mean reversion line. And so if you want to do that differently, you can just, if you want something more comfortable, you can do something like so. I'm just going to do the mean reversion line just because that's kind of how it's written for the documentation. And then I'm going to go with that. So... In addition, so we're going to work with that and say, all right, so we're going to look here, no divergence on this. And so this line right here, let's see, is there any take profit signals? There, There's one. So you could take profit here. And if you do, that's going to be 2.99. According to my apex rules, I'm going to, it's actually at the stop of this. So that's what I'm going to work with. And so. That is a 12.47. And so we're going to calculate that. Where is it? I totally forgot where it is. So 12.47. Um, oh, I, I, so actually I have a, I forgot that I added this and I'm glad that I did. So actually I'm going to do this differently. One day. So I'm going to also do the take profit targets um, to let you know which one is going to be better. And so um, that will help. Sorry, I what am I doing here? Everything is recorded. So, and then 1D right. All right, so I'm also gonna take the 1D left, uh, take profit target. I totally forgot too that I need to add a percentage why did that should go over right uh, what are we doing here so to the left there we go all right so so this is going to be longer than i expected so 1d left percentage is going to be 27 percent so i need to also set this up i apologize i thought i was prepared and turns out i'm not so so that's that those are those two and then do another one on the right so one d t percentage all right so we'll work with that and then let me pause this and just figure this out. All right, there we go. Kind of annoying. Apologies. Um, that's just how it is, I guess. So we are going to look back here and look at our first. So I'm going to just take the first take profit just to make it easier. And so I think we said that was 2.99, but we'll do 2.94 at 6%. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it accurate. Let's see. What is the first one here? There we go. 2.89 at six percent all right so 
six percent at 2.89 and so then we'll do the sums after that and figure that out so on the right side so this will take a little more time to process again you can double speed it probably because it's probably fine so um here's our second one and so there's our reversion line and so when you get to something like this you can do one of two things you can you can cancel the trade here or you can keep it running so i think i'll just cancel the trade because this counts as a new trade right so this is going to be um we would cancel it probably right around here so that's half so it's a minus seven percent and also one half r so um so it's minus seven and then um minus 0 0.5 and so that's going to be the same regardless 0 0.5 all right so got the first trade out and so this is going to be a little harder than i thought to test this but that's okay december 2nd 2019 all right so get that out of the way december 2nd 2019 And feel free to pause the video at any time to check all the signals. So what did I say? December 2nd, I think. Double check to make sure. If that's so, then that's what that is. Yes, December 2nd. So this trade here, the long signal here, there's where you would enter. This is where your, your um, stop loss would be. And it looks like we actually stopped out below the line. Um, and so another thing you can do too is if this raises up you can stop it through there so you can do you, you can do each of those so if you did that it's probably like minus uh, 0.6 r so and that would be about four percent so minus four so uh, minus four I'm not sure why that's just making me do that the percentages so i don't want percentages why is it making me do that? 27, okay. All right, so, and then minus 0 0.6. So that's for both. <clears throat> and then we'll add these up later. In fact, I'm, I think I might just pause this after this trade and then organize that together. So on the right side, we have another, sh we have a short signal and so that's right there. There's your stop loss. And so if you did your take profit, it would be at uh, basically 2%. And so 2% um, at 0 0.2, right? Yeah. So at um, 0 0.21. And then so for, if I was doing it for my personal strategy, um, what would happen here? I would probably get stopped at half. So, so that would be minus four and then minus 0 0.5. All right. So now I'm going to mute while I do the rest of these. So for the, All right, so worked out pretty good so far. So right now we have 11 R for here. And maybe I should just make these look different. Uh, we'll do something like that. Because I, I kind of want to have the R values stand out a little more. And so this will be easier to read, I think. All right, so R values for the left side, uh, almost 12 if you do it my approach and then 2.2 um, if you do it or no if you do it yeah 2.2 if you do the take profit so so overall um, and then you got these as well so we'll connect the dots after this so the next one is going to be June 3rd 2020 get rid of that June 
2020. So first one up <clears throat> is your long position here. There's your stop loss. And so you would have gotten out at about 75% of the way through. So 75% of 12 is like nine. So minus 9% and see minus, minus uh, hold on a second. Minus 9% or minus 0 0.75. And then for the take profits, there was none, so it's the same amount. So minus 9, minus 0 0.75. All right, so on to the next one. And that's going to be the short position here. And so that one is... I didn't get any, okay, just checking for a divergence or something. Over here, no divergence, nothing like that. And so this trend changes right here. Let's see, at about 60% six, of the way through. Uh, so we'll do, let's see. Do minus six. All right, so minus six percent and minus zero point six for that. And then do we get yeah, no take profits for that either. So we're not doing good, but that's okay. So minus zero point six. That's what happened here. We started not doing good and then we did excellent. So just keep that in mind. And again, this is for casual traders. So let's see. Not to try to deter or anything like that. August 1st, 2020. That's why I'm doing it live. Because I want to make sure um, you get the real organic um, insight to that. So long position here. So for conservative levels, we're going to do it right there. Put your stop roughly right around there. Make sure that's close enough. And so this one, um, so there's no divergence for this one, but you do get kind of a stop here. So this is where I would put my target. So that's 5.2 at 15%. Um, so this is, um, I'm so confused here. So 5.2, and I think that was what? 15%? Yep. Technically 15.7. But So there you go. There's the there's that side. So then you got the t take profit targets. And so this one's actually higher. So in this case, it would have been better to do that. So we're going to go over both, obviously. So this is 6.23. And so um, 6.23 at 18. We'll do 19%. So so now we're in positive for all of those. And now we're going to the right side uh, percentages. So this would be this long position here. Um, that's a frustrating signal. That's probably a false flag, but we'll... Um, actually, it's right here. So that would have been... Oh, that's frustrating, actually. So that would have been obviously a stop, but... I mean, see, in real life, I wouldn't have taken that because it's so close to the line, but I can't say that, right, obviously. So we'll do a full stop, minus one, but then for the, we'll um, we'll do minus one for the percentage as well. So unfortunately, so minus one, and then minus one, minus one, minus one. So that sucks, but it's okay. April 15th, 2021. Let's go over here. April 15th, it's tax day. All right, so long position here at the top. 
So also, if you wanted to do a more aggressive trade, you could actually put your stop like right up here. Um, and so that's also a thing. Um, I, I personally don't do that as much. I enjoy more conservative trades, honestly. Um, I don't like the idea of giving myself unnecessary risks. So just keep that in mind. Um, and also, based on my experience, when you have a signal like this, so when you get your first signal above the line, that typically ends up being the best long or short, respectively, of the entire thing. So once you get like your third one up here, it does tend to get more risky, which might mean you want to increase your, tighten your stop loss to get take advantage. So it's up to you. This script is designed to be more flexible. So I'm doing it the way, I'm doing it more of a traditional textbook you know um, generic approach but you can change this according to your style and then i can also do regular videos to help figure that out so um so with that being said on a conservative level um oh, why did i do that all right so i would have actually taken profits here so there i would have taken profits and i actually would have no that's not a, a divergence there uh, let's see. But was that a divergence? So this was 59.42, and that was... Was that the same? So actually, this was slightly lower, and so the take profit is going to be the same. So it's going to be 0 0.14 at 1 let's just say 1%. So 1%, uh, 0 0.13. So it's not really worth much on both sides. But I guess it does count for something. So here is your second one. This is a short position here. Um, so this one is tough because your stop is so close, right? And so if you want to make it closer, that's, I mean, that's 1%. And so that would have been stopped out. Um, but that's also according to your strategy right there. So I tend to not close a position like this because it wasn't stopped out on either side. Um, and so this is tough for me because this is not going to be a real world experience necessarily. Um, but at the same time, we would have not taken profits to the downside. I would have been taking profits anyway. So this would have been up here. I mean, I would have any, if I saw a plus 10 R, I probably would have taken it. But long story short, this is going to get stopped out with 1%. Um, and so we'll do that. So minus one across the board. So as you can see, this does favor percentages right so as far as this r value you're down 3.6 r on this but you're only down 19 percent. it just depends on that situation right so we'll play that out I think what I'm going to do too is I think I'm going to insert like another easy mode because you can also do something like this and then just wait until this comes out and then that's much better as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm going to keep going with this. Sorry, I kind of hesitated a little bit. So April 19th, 2021 is the next one. And that's basically what we got here. Um, so what we're going to do is these two trades instead and work with that. So long position, um, we know that that's gonna get stopped out. And so that'll be minus one, minus three. So uh, minus 3% with a minus one, minus 3%, minus one. All right, so, and then going on to the opposite side, is your see and here's the thing too it would have got stopped out but then you would have to take profit which would have been stopped out anyway so short position start here there's your stop is the mean reversion line 
And so the idea is, is that it's also safer and that's the thing. So the, the line, if you wanted to, you could put your stop more conservatively because generally the idea is it may not go across most of the time you can see here, it bounces off the line. And so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, if you want a more conservative safe stop, you can put it above or away from the line if you want to, or the candle close, it's completely up to you. So we're going to go here We're going to get rid of this here. And so according to my standard, we have a divergence here. And so I would put that right like so. So that's 2.49 at at uh, 29.9, so 30%. 2, 2.49 at 30%. And then according to the take profits, there was no take profit targets. So then I would ride that until this closed at the trend right here when it turns blue. So that's 2.17 at 26%. So um, at 2.1, what did I say? 2.17. Got to get every one of them since I'm doing it conservatively. So um, I didn't do that one, did I? What was that? Hold on a second. What did I do wrong? All right. So I think I included that one into that, but I'm going to go ahead and wait. No, I did it right. Um, oh, I forgot to put it here. That's what it was. So 30, 2.49, 26.2.17. All right. And then we'll get rid of these. All right, so we'll work on those values. So right now, if you look at our value, you would have had 15% and 15% um, on my approach, 6.9 on the scripts approach, uh, minus one on my approach for the right side and minus basically one for the, uh, for the other approach. As far as percentages, you get 27%, 10% according to the script, a little, um, and then 11 and 13 respectively. So that's after one, two, three, one, two, three. 12 trades so so just keep that in mind so right now it looks like we're for our values or, or for percentages we're looking about one to three percent per trade and for our values uh we're looking at about about the same one to two r per trade so not not bad um the apex indicator so far is better but like i said there's this one's much more low maintenance so just keep that in mind and um we'll keep going to the next one so uh, July 14th, 2021. So July 14th, 2021. So we got this one here and then we got this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that over. I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, so short position, go here, conservative stop. <clears throat> so we got, um, I would have ridden this all the way up. So for my, for mine, I would have had minus four, minus four probably. So minus four, minus four. And then so for the take profit, however, that would have been in profits. So the first one, not necessarily the second one. So a lot of times, the more you go on, like if there's a fourth one, that's typically a better idea, obviously. So the more take profit targets you get, um, probably the more um, safer risk to reward you have for taking profits. So that's 0 0.17 and 1.5. So 1.5 and 0 0.17. All right, so on to the right side. So that would have been this long here. And so long position. There's your, um, get that correctly here. There's your stop, 3%. And that looks pretty tight, honestly, but that's just where it is. Um, no divergence on this one. So 
for as so as far as this goes, I would have taken profits here because that's where the divergence is, right? Yep. So going to this candle, going up, we would have gotten 10.83 at 34, 35%. So 35 and then 10.83. And then for the take profits, we would have actually reduced it down to here like this. So it's six point. So it's 21% at 6.53. Wait, I just messed up. 21%. 21% at 6.53. All right, so now we're looking pretty good here. Um, and then the next one is going to be July 18th. And so that's, um, what's the next one here? July 20th. Okay, so we'll, we'll do the next two. <clears throat> and the reason I go on to the next two, because one, it's easier for me, honestly, but also, too, it gives you a better um, understanding, right? Because the more trades you get in the row, the more you're going to get an a law of averages. So that's also why. So here's your two trades right here. So the first one is going to be a long signal going here. And so with my personal strategy, I would have not... None of these are divergences, so I would have... Would I have, nope, wouldn't have done that. Would not have done that. So I would have just taken it to full stop, I guess. I would have taken it to the gray area, so at the top. So that's 29% at 4.7. So 29 at 4.7. And then for the percentages, or for the take profits, I'm sorry, it would have been really low here at 7% at 1.1. So 7% at 1.1. And then to the right side, uh, it would have been this one here. So here's your stop. So no take profit targets. So I would have taken them both here um, at Zero at uh, four percent at zero point six five, so four at zero point six five, four zero point six five. All right, two more to go, and then we'll we'll look at this, and then I'll, I might take a short break, and then do the twelve hour, and we'll see how that goes. So July twenty seventh, two thousand twenty two. July, what did I say? July 27th, that's what I thought. July 27th, 2022. All right, so short position here. Um, where's it at? I would have closed here at about third of the way in. Um, and then one third of 20 is like seven. So we'll do minus seven and then minus 0 0.33 three. we'll do three three and so then minus seven is there a take profit i just want to check there is not typically there isn't um but you never know so minus 0 0.33 and then on the right side <clears throat> we have another short here so there's no long position even though that looked pretty good but that's just because we got the down after that so Short position, um, wide stop, unfortunately. But according to this, so I would have held this to the stop. So it'd be like um, minus 2% at minus 0 0.2. But the take profits would have given me a profit, actually. So... So we go through here. Sorry. All right. So it's um, seven percent at point seven. So seven percent at point seven. 
And then the last trade will be October 5th, 2023. So it's pretty recent. All right, and we'll go all the way to the beginning or the end or whatever. October 5th. So October 5th. So we don't get that big one, unfortunately. But but you see it, right? So it counts because you see it, maybe. I don't know. doesn't matter. So long. Here's your situation here. No take profits. So it, it looks like it stops out at 4%. So I think, yes. So minus... Four and minus one, respectively. And then on the right side, it uh, looks like we're probably going to do the same thing. So short. So your stop is super low, but um, that's not right. <laughs> Hold on a second. At 1%. So minus one, minus one. All right, so calculating this, let me do some more summaries here. Um, so if you wanted to do, so according to my style, percentage-wise, you would have gained 45% after 10 trades. So that's an average of 4.5 per trade. That's pretty good. Um, as far as the R value on the left side, you would have gained 11.82. Um, and let's see, and that's about 1.1, 1.2 R per trade. So that's actually right around on par um, with my apex indicator. My apex indicator is actually 1.22 per trade. So it's very, very similar, very close. So if you don't like a lot of the stress or you want more casual mode, Aaron Trend might be better in this case for you. So based on random sampling, um, the apex indicator did 1.22, where the trend indicator did 1.18. So very, very, very close. In fact, that won't make a big difference until you get to like 100 trades. Um, and then you might get like an extra 3 to 5%. So if you do the left side according to the Arun trend, you know, training wheels kind of approach, you would get a 10% gain. So it is a little more restrictive, but it's also more... Um, it's designed to be safer. Okay. So it's designed, it's one of those, like you put all your money into a dividend type thing and you just let it ride. So you're not uh, like, a, it's like, or it's, I shouldn't say that it's like a money market, right? So that's the whole idea behind that. If you go on to the R value, you only gained about 3.8. So it's a lot less. So according to my, and again, my strategy is the textbook apex Academy strategy that I use. And so that's, where that comes into play. Now that's just the left side. And so we'll do the grand totals here in a second. Um, on the right side, according to my strategy, you got a 47% gain. Um, and if you wanted to do an R value, you would have got 9.17. So uh, almost one R per per side, honestly. So that's um, it's pretty decent. Um, so if, if you can get it, it depends on your strategy, right? So we're also talking an algorithmic script, right? So one R per trade tends to be relatively decent. I think if you want to do something like this where I'm presenting something to you, you know, 1% is, 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 should be okay. So um, for the right side, lost my train of thought, for the right side percentage wise, so keep in mind this is, um, okay, so for the take profit, you would have got 44%, which is, comparable to the 47 that I got. Um, and then for your R value, you would have got 6.16. Now, in both cases, for the law of averages, my strategy for taking profits was better than the training wheels suggested take profits. Now, yours will also be different because maybe you just want to take profits, right? And so that's completely fine. So I'm going to mute while I calculate these. So I'm going to do the grand sums of these and then we will um, kind of look into this and see. All right, so for the one day statistics, here's here's the grand totals for this. So as far as R values go, the my approach would get you 21 R, 20.99 R. Um, so for 20 trade, so for 20 trades. So that roughly 
turns into about 1.99R um, uh, per trade. Okay, so that's, um, I think that's right on, I think that's a little bit better than the approach. I, no, it's, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, um, it's based off of 10 trades. I'm sorry. So um, the Apex script gives you 41R in that same amount. So keep that in mind. So Apex indicator did about twice as much for random sampling on one day as the Arun trend. Now, um, if you are, um, if you want the Arun trend, it is going to be cheaper than the Apex. So that's one reason I'm doing, that's one reason I'm mentioning in that now. Um, and that's one reason why, the main reason is the Apex indicator does take more effort to use. And so it also retains you better um, sampling for the indicator. So that's one reason why. So that's that's that. Um, but the the trend indicator for itself gave 10% R, so roughly one R. So that's still pretty good, right? Um, you can expect, um, you know, the... Sorry, I can't think. Of, I just lost my train of thought. So... Um, the average would, anyway, uh, to kind of change the subject a little bit, it's going to be 1R roughly per trade, almost exactly 1R per trade for the take profit target um, and about 1.99 for the Aaron trend. And now for the Apex, that's actually um, a little over two. So I, I think I actually made a miscalculation on the sharing of the indicator. So 41.77 for Apex divided by 20 is 2R per trade. So my my asking price is basically one one of those, right? So uh, that's basically it. So for the percentages, if you do it my approach, you would have gained 92% off of 10 trades, so about 9.2% per trade. So that's pretty decent. So as far as um, the take profit target approach on the script itself, it would be about 54, 55%. So it's about 5.4 um, or 5% rounded down per trade. So take that with the, with what you will. Um, it's So I want you to keep in mind that this is more of a casual trading approach. You don't have to even do that to the, the take profit signal. The, the whole aspect is you can just you can just trade right and then just basically just trade the colors so that's that's part of that approach right so keep that um keep that in mind so overall i think that looks pretty good so apologies for that so i think i'm going to pause the video here um i do want to keep going but i think i need to take a in real life pause um, and take a break from the video and we'll get into this other section um probably sometime in the next i would like to do it tonight but we'll see how that goes i got some other things to do as well so we'll keep that in mind um, but so far this is the performance i'm going to go ahead and update this in the discord update the, give you guys access to the spreadsheet put it on x and keep going with this so hope you enjoyed this let me know what you think i'm going to if you are interested in the script or the Apex script or any of them, I'm going to put a link in the description for the wait list. So let me know what you think. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, by the way. Like, I know this is redundant and things and could be boring. But if you're listening for this long, I really appreciate you, honestly. Um, kind of helps me go through this. And, you know, a lot of you have shown interest to purchase these scripts and my services. So that does help support me to continue to offer more things to you. Um, so without that, I would probably have to shut down my Discord, things like that. So helping you helping me is also me helping you. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next video.